Welcome to the Web Weekly Newsletter. My name is Dan Walleen and I have a very special guest with me today. In fact, he's very special and very good at writing and a lot of other things and wrote an excellent book here called NG Book. His name is Ari Lerner. Did I say that right? Yeah, Ari? you did. Yeah. All right, excellent. Every now and then, you know, mess it up. So uh, tell us first off about yourself and what you do, where you're from, all that good stuff. Sure. Uh, I'm from San Francisco. Uh, I run a small company called Fullstack.io. We're mainly a consultant company, although we are uh, moving towards products. Um, as Dan mentioned, I wrote a book. Uh, it took me about four and a half months to write a 600-page book that is constantly getting updated. I also run uh, NG Newsletter, which is an article-driven uh, newsletter for specifically uh, for Angular, and I also teach quite a bit. I work at a school called Hack Reactor in San Francisco, and I love it. That's awesome, awesome. And if you haven't followed uh, Ari's stuff, I'm telling you, you know, you have the blog post. Like I blog a lot, but his is uh, blog on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I saw your one on the uh, the whole mobile with Angular, yeah. and he goes into all just all kinds of stuff that nobody else has covered. And that's what I like about your posts is well, you, you actually drill in really deep. Yeah, the intention is to teach. I write with the intention to teach and like to really, um, not just to say, here's how to do it, but here's uh, all the things that you should think about when you're doing it. So for instance, I have an article on AWS, the, the new AWS JS. Cool. Um, and that's constantly being updated because Amazon has some fantastic engineers and I can't keep up with that upda those <laughs> updates. Um, but I, that article itself is written specifically to to show like here's the concerns that you need to think about when you're using Amazon to build your own um, to build your own um, uh, static website with your own custom backend. Awesome. Well, so uh, so how do you come up with the idea? I mean, this is 600 pages, and having done a few books in my lifetime, I know how much work goes into this. So, what made you decide to commit that much time? Um, so I, my, my background is primarily in, uh, in uh, infrastructure and distributed systems. So I spent most of my professional career building uh, farms of computers. Okay, cool. So I, I, left my, I left my last job. I used to work for AT&T um, for about five or six years. And I left that job with the intention of starting my own company. Mm -hmm. And I was working on a product um, that I wanted it to be a consumer-facing product at the time. And realized I knew very little about front end, so I went through the iteration. I found I, I knew a little bit of backbone, so I was kind of working with backbone. It was just a pain in the butt to work with. I found Knockout and Ember, pre Ember 1.0 mm -hmm. at that point. And I found Angular and thought, at that time, Angular made a lot of sense, and it still makes a lot of sense at this time. Oh, but I agree. at I that time, I was like, <laughs> this is where I want still to go. Still new back then. Yeah, exactly. And then. There was only one, at that time, there was only one book out, and that was the Brad Green book. Yeah. And the docs, um, sorry, Angular team, were really bad. Was, they were. I, I'm going to back him up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're getting better. They're getting is, a lot better, nice. but yeah, they were pretty bad at the time. Um, so my only real way to learn Angular was I was looking in the source, in the source of Angular. Yep. And, um, and realized that there was this opportunity for me to dive into actually uh, making as I said, I like teaching a lot, so yeah. there's an opportunity for me to help teach, um, to blend both that, that my passion that I have for teaching and also help other people learn Angular. So awesome. I started out with the intention of writing a 200 page book and just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> you only went three times as long. You know, yeah. No big deal. Yeah, if you uh, ever want to write a book, I'll tell you one thing. You might want to think about it first because yeah. it's a lot of work, as Ari knows. Yeah. So. Writing code is way easier than writing English. Oh, way so much. Easier. So much. In fact, um, it's kind of fun once you have the code, though, yep. to write about that. But yep. then the explaining part takes a little bit of thought. And time, Absolutely. So, so um, what? Uh, tell us a little bit. I've already seen it, but for those that haven't, what are some of the main topics? Because you have a whole bunch you cover in the book. But what are some of the main topics? Sure. Thanks for asking that. By the way, <laughs> um, this book. Is, I really engineered this book um, to be for as wide a range of audience as possible. It's intended. The beginning of the book is really intended on uh, making it easy for beginners to learn. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, 
the advanced topics in the, in the as we get later in the book are specifically um, focused on things that you'll need as you're developing Angular for um, professional applications. I have consulted for a long time um, using Angular specifically as uh, as my vehicle for um, consulting, and uh, we cover things like how to do authentication, how SEO works, and how to get your own SEO. See, those, your own. those are some of the key things that people that are new to Angular, you don't realize that SEO is just not like a, you're gonna get it. Does, it. You just don't get it for free. You don't yeah. get it, so. So we cover uh, building Chrome apps. Uh, as I mentioned, um, you, we'll, we help you build your own backend using AWS, things like that. We have 85 pages on testing the right way. Um, there's a lot. Testing the right way, so yeah. there, there's a wrong way? Well, of course, there's a lot. Yeah, let's test the Angular framework. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, having looked through it, it's actually pretty cool stuff. Because uh, uh, I don't know when you sent me an initial review copy of a PDF a while a while back, several months back, I guess. Yeah. But in looking through it, I was like, oh, these are all those things that when I had to figure it out on my own, like you said, I, I kind of laughed when you said I looked at the source code. Yeah. Because that's what I would have to do. Is yeah. Just dig into the source and and try to figure it out. So. Uh, yeah, it's really good stuff. So um, in addition to the book, so it sounds like you do a lot of teaching and uh, that type of stuff as well, huh? Yep. Yep. We, um, uh, I like li in-person live teaching. Uh, yep. We do, my company itself does corporate training, which yep. is tons of fun because then you get that one-on-one -on -one experience or that one-on-three experience working with people who are working with it professionally and you get, um, you get the opportunity to help people walk through problems, cool. not just give them the... So kind of a mentoring? Type yeah. thing, like it'd be me and you, or maybe just me and a yep. small group. Yeah. Nice. I like that's, that. That's actually kind of Lock stuff. It down again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, yeah, that's kind of the. I, I mentor. I volunteer a lot in. For there's a bunch of schools in San Francisco, and I mentor for. Um, that's awesome. Hackbright, which is an all girls um, Python school. I mentor for Dev Boot Camp. Hmm. Teaching at General Assembly, I teach at Hack Reactor professionally. Uh, do a lot. That's excellent. You are a busy guy. So yeah, if you haven't checked out uh, ng dash newsletter, right? Yep. Dot com. Yep. Uh, a lot of articles. So I, while I highly recommend the book, if you just want some general articles that are out there that Ari puts out for free, check those out. Like I said, they're very detailed. So anything else you want to tell us before we wrap up here? Sure. Uh, so along with the book itself, um, one of the, we found that people are learning really well through screencasts. So. In conjunction with this, and in, in conjunction with NG Book and NG Newsletter, um, we've been uh, we've re we've uh, recorded some screencasts, and Great. we have sample code available through those screencasts. And it, it actually on the website NG Book NG Book dot com, you can grab those packages there. Excellent. And in the future, we're releasing uh, we're releasing these um, long form screencasts to help walk you through very specific um, professional issues. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps bring NG Book to life. Excellent. Well, thanks for taking the time to come and tell us about all your excellent work, and we uh, appreciate it. And thanks for tuning in.